Good evening. Welcome back to the second segment of the Glazov Gang. And we are discussing Obama's victory and its consequences for the United States of America. And we're joined by three heroes of the Glazov Gang. Dwight Schultz, Nani, Darwish, and Tommy Trudeau. I am defeated. Sh show them I'm your no hope and change plate. Well, I wanted my piece of the pie. I was promised my piece of the pie. All I got is hope and change. Well, and I can't eat no hope. And you didn't no get any EBT Glass card or iPhone. I want my phone. I want my check. I want my EBT. I want my house paid for. If Ted Turner can be a multi, multi, gazillion, billion, trillionaire, he can put a million. I mean, he won't even miss a million. You give me that. You give me it. Give me, 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 give me. Thank you, Tommy. Give me. And this is the hypocrisy. This is the hypocrisy of the left, and that Tommy's pointing to, and also the disaster of the left. I'm not pointing. No, I understand. I know you're defeated. I accept you. Okay. But don't talk like a conservative. Say I need to get a job. You promised me. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, Tommy. And it may come. Let's see if it comes, Dwight. The Republican Party, I think, has to change if it even wants to be a player in the next election. Right. I think the demography of the country has changed. There's a new generation. There's new attitudes. Um, if you were to replace Karl Rove as right. the strategist for Republicans in the next two, three, four years, what would you... What do they well, look at this. Uh, look. Carl Rove and Frank Luntz. You know who Frank Luntz is. He's oh, always on Fox him. News. He's, he, he has focus groups. I am so sick of Frank Luntz. Negative advertising. Negative. It doesn't work. Oh, they don't like negative. They don't like negative. That's a and great then, impression. And then, they do and, wait a minute, they do and then he comes back and says, all that negative advertising, it's it working. worked. That's because he's wrong. He's making money with these focus groups, but his ideological bent is as bad as Rose. This nonsense about, if, if you have something negative to say about your opponent in politics, and it is true, you do not use it at your peril. We have spent, we've spent six years not telling the American people the truth about Barack Obama and what is behind him. If you do not do that in six years, you deserve what you get. And that's what we've got. So you get rid of Frank Luntz, let him do focus groups for the Democratic Party. And you get, you use Karl Rove as a pollster, but start uh, uh, recognizing that politics is a blood sport and you are winning for people's lives if you believe in what you're doing. I believe in conservatism. I believe in it. I believe in the Constitution of the United States and the American people. And if I were involved at the top, tip top, of the Republican Party, you better believe I'd be telling the truth okay. about Barack Obama every bloody day. Dwight, and the info's there. Dwight, you know, you, you beat around the bush a lot. Why don't yeah. you start saying what you really think? I'm sorry. I got a okay. little hot. Okay, now, but He's Dwight... that fly swatter. That's why I did that. Uh, wait, 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 ah, stay away from me! Uh, Dwight. Every time they say something conservative, you get it, glass off. You get it. Dwight. She says she's Dwight, I don't yes. want to trivialize the, the profound wisdom that you just imparted. In other words, for instance, Dinesh D'Souza's movie uh, film, 2016, right. those themes should be the ingredients of Romney's campaign. Of course they right? should have been. Of course they should have been. Okay, Nani, what, if you were hired as the strategist for the next Republican campaign for 2016, what would you do different? What do Republicans need to do? The problem is that we let things deteriorate over a long period of time. And to fix it is, is going to take a long period of time. Uh, Do you think the Republican Party is dead? No, 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 no not at all. Mm -hmm. Actually, by letting them do what have have it this four years, let them have it. Let them raise taxes. Let them. Let the Muslim let Brotherhood them penetrate the government. That part. That is the only thing I'm too scared about. Right. And this is. Uh, I have a feeling Obama is going to let uh, uh, a lot of Muslims in, the, in our government mm -hmm. during uh, in the next mm -hmm. four years. And that part scares the hell out of mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. But anything mm -hmm. else regarding socialism, uh, taxing the rich, all of this can be reversed later. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. If, well, yeah, but, but if the, if the but debt goes up to, it's what, 17 <coughs> trillion now, 16 well, trillion? 16. What? 16, what if it goes up to 30? I mean, it's just, uh, I don't well, think that, uh, it's going to break the system. The House is not going to let that happen. No? No. 
Okay, so there's going yeah. to be some resistance yeah. now, yeah. right? He's a lame duck in some ways, the president. Mm, he, uh, the, 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 listen, nothing has changed. Basically, we're in exactly the same situation, although we've lost a few seats in the mm -hmm. Senate. But it's basically the same. Tommy, yeah. even though I don't think it would ever happen, what if you became the strategist for the Republican yeah. Party in How Senate in the Carl world can a lowly <laughs> member of the proletariat ever penetrate the liberal ruling classes? I am not the liberal bourgeoisie. Liberals, you're the man now. I'm just, I know nothing. I'm part of the mm -hmm. proletariat. But you know what? I got to give them props. You know, my issue is I was promised things and my cup was empty. My cup was empty. Okay? So I went down to Acorn and they filled my cup up to overflowing. Overflowing, Glazoff. I went, I said, my cup is empty. And they said, okay, we'll take care of that. They filled it overflowing. Oh. 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 It does stank, though. <laughs> because they filled it overflowing with bullsh**. <laughs> I go down and hope for hope and change and say my cup is empty and they overflow it. They give me a big old steaming cup of bullsh**. So now I got hope and change and I got big steaming cup of bullsh**. Here. Wait but I minute. still don't have anything good. And I don't know. I'm not resisting you. I'm not in politics. All I know is I'm a poor member of the proletariat. Okay. I'm hoping for your promises. And you give me a steaming cup of bull****. <laughs> okay, Tommy. Thank huh? you very much. Dwight, what do you think about what Tommy got for the hope and change promise? <laughs> Well, the president of the United States said it himself. He used that terminology so but nobody can be, I mean, he said it to a nine-year-old child. He, he said that Romney was a, I'm not going to use his language, I'll let, let him do it, but he used that bad word. And I think that he's, again, hitting something right on, he's hit the mark. Which is that's, what? That's what? Because that's what Barack Obama is, is going to give everybody in the next four years, just what he's holding. Donnie? I think the world is moving to a, uh, to a movement, mm. uh, really, I feel it's a movement towards totalitarianism, whether it's in the Middle East, in Europe, no. and America is, fo is a follower now. America is no longer a, re a leader under the Democratic Party. Yeah. America has become a follower. And, it wants and Obama wants that. And yes. Obama he wanted, wants that. Yes. America's up here, the rest yeah. of the world is here, he and he to wanted to do this, right? And That's right. I have lived in, under socialism, and I know how it, it ends tragically. Right. And it brings down the poor people before the rich people, right. by the way. So let the, let the poor people in America who are, you know, voting for Obama, thinking they are going to get those white rich guys, you know, let them know the truth that by bringing down the system, they're going to bring down themselves. And this is the thing, Nani and Dwight and Tommy, is that, you know, what I've always been horrified by the left, they talk about redistribution of wealth, but they have no idea how to how? generate it and how to create it. They Smell think it's well, just... <laughs> Smell it. <laughs> okay. I think we're going to be smelling a lot of it in the next four years. Yeah. Before we move forward... Let's conclude on these topics. Do you have something profound yeah, to say instead? Yeah, I went down to Acorn and I said, my cup is empty. I don't have no pie. I don't have my piece of the pie. I don't care about politics. I'm defeated. I'm a member of the proletariat. You know what they said? They said, well, we got good news and bad news. And I said, well, what's the bad news? And they said, all we got is bull <laughs> And I said, what's the good news? They said, there's plenty of it. Oh my goodness, mm. what do we have coming forward? Ladies and gentlemen, we want to get serious here for a minute, Tommy, even though I know you're making a very serious point. This is serious. Does this smell serious? <laughs> Thank you. Smell Thank this. you, uh, Tommy. This big old mug yeah. of dookie okay. here. Does that <laughs> Thank smell you. serious? Thank you, Tommy. That's a now. serious smell. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen. That's some dookie. And that's what... That bull had some ham rolls <laughs> out there. Ladies and gentlemen. One very scary thing that was touched on by Nani and by myself a couple minutes earlier. What we're very frightened of, and I think you are too, let, let's discuss this. We have a filmmaker of the innocence of Muslims that just went to jail for a whole year. Yeah. Who goes to jail for a probation violation or parole violation or whatever this was? Nobody. Think, Nobody for ever a does. year. Nobody. And this was a he's a he's America's first political prisoner. He is. Yeah. This and, is true. And 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 this administration is carrying out Islamic blasphemy laws. Yeah. 
they say that Hillary Clinton said something to that poor boy that uh, Woods. Poor, uh, Woods. Yeah, Woods that the died. Yeah, they yeah. said to his father, we're going to prosecute yeah, this that's guy. Right. That's this right. is very, very frightening very what's serious. happening. But this mentality of the, uh, this administration to put a person in prison for a year Perp for making walk, a movie, the whole thing. There's, a, there's a submission to Sharia law. Yeah. Now they're in power for another four years. Yeah. What are the yeah. consequences here? How might this play out? Dwight. Well, you notice nobody's uh, also nobody has. Wouldn't you think that a reporter would be interested in talking to this fellow? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you think that? Yeah. Now, they I, wanted to talk to Cindy Sheehan. That's right. That's right. But nobody has. Uh, I just wanted to say this on, on this program and I, I that that there is a way for the media to find out who is responsible for all of this. And that is to talk to Martin Dempsey, who is the uh, chairman of the Joint Chiefs, who called Terry Jones the pastor who was going to burn the Korans, yeah. remember? Yeah. That was the, he, the, the, the head of the Joint Chiefs called Terry Jones. It was because initially he was supposedly involved with this film, mm -hmm. and he wasn't. Whoever told, Terry jo uh, who told Martin Dempsey to call Terry Jones is behind the whole Muslim film, whoever did it. And the media, if they ask Martin Dempsey, why the hell? Did you, in the military, call a civilian and tell him to cut something out? I mean, he should resign because of it. But uh, uh, th there is a way. If, if he will give an answer. And when he gives the answer, because he's not a politician. I mean, he's a politician in ways, but he's got more integrity than a lot of the members of the uh, Obama administration. If reporters were to ask Dempsey, who told you to call Terry Jones? You would find out who really is behind uh, this charade. And before we move to Nani, what is the ultimate goal and strategy of the people that are behind it? Well, I, I, I've said this before. It's to uh, the, the take the light off of Huma Abedin and the entire uh, corruption that has occurred within the Secretary of State and the State Department and the uh, Obama administration okay. bringing the, the brotherhood Muslim, yeah. into uh, our government. And ladies and gentlemen, Frank Gaffney, his pamphlet, the Muslim Brotherhood and the Obama administration. Go to frontpagemag.com, read this pamphlet, go to our bookstore and get it. Nani is an yeah. expert on all of this in terms of Islam and the I penetration. I lived go in, ahead. in a country yeah. and I was a journalist in Egypt and I've seen political prisoners mm. uh, and I've, I've known some of them and I, uh, this is a political prisoner right. because uh, what did the guy do? I think he had several na names, uh, yeah. and he had some violations, His banking violations. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, there's people with far worse quote unquote exactly, crimes, or whatever you want to call them, uh, that are out right the now. The man is being used uh, for political reasons yeah. to uh, to make to make Obama uh, appease the Muslim world, Nani, and it if, scares the hell out of This me. filmmaker is in prison mm -hmm. for making a movie about. Islam and for upsetting the Muslim world, where will us four be in the future if we want to tell the truth yeah. about aspects of Islam? Well, I, I think I think right now, frankly, I, as a former Muslim, I'm scared. I'm scared of this administration. I'm scared that they might even tell the Islamists where I live, where I yeah. uh, where I go to speak. And I, I, I don't trust my safety in America anymore. And Nani, instead of the Nadal Hassans hiding and running and being afraid of the administration, it's the heroes and the freedom fighters that are afraid of this mm -hmm. administration. Tommy, any profound wisdom from you? Well, the truth is, look down through history. The people have always been persecuted by the bourgeoisie ruling classes. We have no choice. They persecute us. We are the people, the proletariat. We are persecuted by the bourgeoisie. And guess what, liberals? That's you. You're the man now. You're the establishment. And guess what? I'm not in politics, but I'm going to point out the man when I see it. I'm going to point out the establishment when I see it. Uh, Tommy, uh, 30 seconds, please, because the show is coming to an end. You're a former Democrat or maybe still a Democrat. I'm still a Democrat. You're still a Democrat. But do you feel betrayed by who's leading the Democratic Party today? It's about the rich ruling classes. Why are there liberal billionaires? And why don't they, you're telling me, spread the wealth around. 
why isn't their wealth redistributed? How come we live in hovels and don't have any money and they have billions of dollars? Why? It's the man. It's, it's the, the establishment. Yeah, it's the nomenclatura that was in the Soviet Union. Uh, uh, as you know, uh, front page uh, had the article but with Thomas Pickering, who has been chosen to investigate this Benghazi affair. What, what did he say? Uh, he, called, he said the problem with America is that it's filled with Islamophobes. Mm -hmm. He went on and on right. and on attacking Americans who were concerned about the Brotherhood. And I think that's an indication. And who cares what some bourgeois bureaucrat says? They're the bourgeoisie, they're the ruling classes, it's the establishment, it's the man, Let it's the liberals now. We don't have any control, we're the people, we're the proletariat. All you're giving us is bull****. Ladies and gentlemen, we have two minutes left, please very briefly. Nani, mm -hmm. was, I think that there's evidence to suggest that Obama has been wearing some masks, hiding his background. In this second term, I think he will have, quote unquote, more flexibility, as he promised Medvedev. I think, and I fear some masks will come off. Mm -hmm. What do you think on that score? What might, what might we see very briefly when the mask comes off? Well, he's, uh, now he can expose his socialist side more, mm -hmm. his Islamic side more. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he, uh, 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 he we now have a uh, representative at the uh, Islamic uh, conference. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there is an organization yeah. called the Islamic. Uh, and the resolution 16 and 18 that they're working on. I have to ban religion. I have a feeling he will make us a member of the Islamic organization. Frightening. America might become a member of the Islamic organization. We are. He is going to promote America as an Islamic nation, uh, <laughs> as part of of. Uh, uh, we're all one big happy family. Thank and you. the tribalism is going to start flourishing in America. He's going to pit women against men, poor against rich. We are going to be a tri yeah. class warfare is going to intensify. Thank you, Nani. Dwight, 20 seconds, please. Uh, I, I, I just believe that it's, there's going to be chaos. And it's something that he will engineer. And that's what he wants. And we are go now going to see the real chaos that he has created in the first four years, in the second four. And what's the bad news? <laughs> international news. Tommy? If you mm -hmm. want to know who the rich establishment is, look who's in control. They're the man. Liberals, you're the man. Ted Turner, Soros, all you billionaires, liberal, Barack Obama worth gazillions of dollars, you're the establishment. You're the man. Hey, we're just the proletariat, and all we got is hope and change. We want our piece of the pie. We want your promises. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, Tommy. Uh, my producers are getting angry with me. We've run out of time. They're going to be mad at me about this, but please, 10 seconds each. The viewers that are watching and need some hope, give one sentence each to them what our hope is and what they can do. Nani, please. I have hope sentences. because there's always a war between good and evil. Okay. And uh, the truth comes out at the end. I just hope that when the truth comes out and conservatives come back to power, they won't have to uh, to start from scratch, really, because it's going to be. Dwight, in, in, the, uni in the United hard. States, idols in the United States fall and are crushed to pieces by the very fans who created them, and that is what you are going to see. Tommy, give our viewers some hope in one sentence. Don't trust the bourgeois liberal establishment. Don't trust the man. <clears throat> thank you very much. Dwight Schultz, Nani Darwish, Tommy Trudeau, thank you for joining the Glazov gang in these frightening times. I beg my viewers to write letters in. My producer, Annie, is so upset that Obama has won. She is threatening to move to Canada or somewhere else in the world. We want her to stay. Please write letters of support to get Annie to stay. See you next week. Good night. <laughs>